In this video, I'll show you how to add checkboxes to Word. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like. And let's get right into this guide. There are many reasons why you may want to add a checkbox to your Word document. In this case, I'm creating a questionnaire, so I'd like them. So the first thing we need to do is go to the top left, we've got all the options for Word. And what you need to do is go and look for the Developer tab. As you can see, I don't have it, and you may not have it as well. To do so to go and get it, all we need to do is go to the top left and tap on file. And then what we need to do is go to the bottom of this page here to the bottom left and tap on options. You'll then go and get this uh, sort of word options menu here. And what you need to do is go over to the left and go tap on customize ribbon. Then what you need to do is go over to the right hand side and make sure main tabs is selected and then scroll down here. And as you can see, we've got the option for developer. Just go and click it and then go and tap OK. Then what you're going to go and notice is that we've now got the developer option in the top left. So go and tap on it like so. Then what you need to do is go and place your cursor where you want the checkbox to be. So in this case, I want the first one to be just before um, 0 to 18. Then go up to the top and make sure developer is selected. And then what you can do is go and tap on this checkbox option here like so. And then as you can see, it then goes and adds in a checkbox. And when you go and click on it, as you can see, it then goes and puts a cross through it. Now you may want to go and customize this and I recommend customizing it before you go and add any more. And then I'll show you how to go and sort of duplicate this. So go to the top and go and tap on properties like so. And if you want to go and change the check symbol, then go down to checkbox properties and go and tap on change. Then what you need to do is go and find what you want the symbol to be. So in this case, I want it to be a tick. So what I'm going to do is scroll down here uh, using the arrow. So there is a tick there. So all you need to do is click on it and then go and tap OK like this. And then you can go and tap OK again. And then when I go and click on it, as you can see, it then goes and gives us a tick. And of course, you can go and change that again if you'd like. And then to go and duplicate this, all we need to do is go and highlight it like so. And you can press Control C or just right click and press copy. And then you can duplicate it like this. And so somebody can go and choose what age bracket they then go and fit in. 